Today's spookerific review, we're going to be having a look at the new Scream Factory release of Trick or Treat, the Collector's Edition, now on Blu-ray. Now, don't worry, you don't have to wait to get this one for yourself. Trick or Treat is now available in retail stores. It was released on October 9th, 2018, so it's available right now. This is one of those movies in which I always have to watch every single year. Of course, mingling with the likes of Michael Myers, uh, The Witch's Night Out, which is one of my favorite all-time animated classics, and Garfield's Christmas as another one that I always have to watch every single year. Trick or Treat makes that list as well. It's a fun anthology film in which you have four smaller films making up the majority of the uh, the movie itself. Now, this isn't the first time we got ourselves Trick or Treat on Blu-ray. No, no. We did actually get as well this one right here, which is really my go-to up to the point that Shout Factory slash Scream Factory released this one on Blu-ray. Previously to that, of course, I had the DVD copy. Of course, I did it. Always wanting to upgrade the the media in my library. Now, unfortunately, though, and the reasoning why I did eventually upgrade myself to getting the Blu-ray was that while as good as this film looked on DVD, it sadly only had one feature. It had the Trick or Treat Seasons Greetings, an animated short with uh, op optional commentary by Michael Doherty, who wrote and directed the film. And that's fine, it only had that. But then when I went into a store later on, I think it was months down the road, uh, I did see a Blu-ray copy, which I don't think this was as mass circulated as that of the DVD, because I don't remember seeing it in very many different stores. This one, however, did have still the Trick or Treat Seasons Greetings, the animated short, but it did also have How Did Many of the Scary Season Traditions Start, a commentary with director Michael Doherty, and additional scenes. So it was more a worthy pickup to get this one because it had the added scenes and the added features that this one didn't get. Fast forward several years later and now Scream Factory has entered into the mix and throwing this into our bag of candy treats. Now we have the Trick or Treat Collector's Edition, which as you can see now gets this fantastic new artwork that Scream Factory does with a lot of their new releases. This slip cover sleeves is also mimicked on the inside there on the actual case. Now if, say for example, I don't even understand why you wouldn't want to, if this isn't what you want to go with, as they can do with most of their releases, Scream Factory also gives you the alternate cover. Now what's interesting about the alternate cover though, is it is artwork that they used for promotion when they were advertising the Trick or Treat film, but it never made it to the DVD or Blu-ray covers. It never was released in this form. So it's really neat to be able to have this as an optional uh, you know, availability that you can flip it around. You can always flip it around. Sometimes what I usually do with a lot of Scream Factory releases is that I flip it to the original covers and then I put it into the sleeves. So then I get the benefit of both, of both. I get the brand new artwork, but then if I want to open it up, I get treated to the original, the original promotion poster artwork or the original VHS cover artwork that they, uh, they always include inside. Talking a little bit about Trick or Treat as a whole, as the film itself, and I'm going to do my best not to give away anything because I don't believe in giving and spoiling things for people that haven't seen the movie themselves. This is certainly one of those treats that you have to reward yourself with every single year for Halloween. If you haven't already seen Trick or Treat, do yourself a favor and check it out. This is within the same vein as other anthology films, so the likes of Tales from the Dark Side, Body Bags, Dead Time Stories, that's probably the least and best example of an anthology film. Um, and then one of the more famous one is Creepshow. So if you like all those sort of anthology films that are made up of smaller shorts, Trick or Treat is right up your alley. Now, one thing that's different about Trick or Treat versus, say, A Tales from the Dark Side or A Creepshow is that the films, the smaller films in this movie, are intertwined. So characters that you will see in one film, one of the smaller short stories, will make appearances. 
not directly, but you may see them sort of walking past camera and you'll be like, that's the same character that was in this short film. The four films, and this is the hardest part, is trying to describe it without giving anything away. One film, one short story, has to do with a father teaching his son about the family traditions and the history behind some of the Halloween traditions. And of course, something else happens, and I won't give that away. The other short story has uh, to do with a bunch of uh, girls that are getting costumed up, and they're going to be getting together with a bunch of guys for a costume party. And again, something else happens, and I won't give that away. Uh, one of the stories has to do with initiation of uh, these young kids going down to like a quarry to see the wreckage of a fallen uh, bus that had plunged years before and it was believed to be haunted. That one's an interesting story. And then the last one is of an older neighbor who so happens to be the next door neighbor of the father and the son, an older neighbor that gets an unsuspecting visitor at his doorstep. A trick-or-treater, if you will, that won't go away. And that's the best as I could do describing each of the individual shorts without really giving anything away. It sort of has one of those neat aspects to it that the, the likes of, say, a creep show or a Tales from the Dark Side doesn't possess, and that because they are interwoven, one thing that happens in one of the short films will drastically affect the next short film or the one after that. So it plays into where you're watching one of the films, one of the short stories, and you're and then something else happens in it, and you're like, oh, wait a minute, that happened, if I remember correctly, in this story here. It is a really neat concept, and there was rumors and speculation that we were supposed to be getting a trick or treat, a sequel, and so far it just has not played out. This is sort of one of those things where I feel like you could never duplicate the the appeal and the charm of this original but i still feel like i would like to see a trick-or-treat 2 or trick-or-treat 3 and maybe not every single year like a saw but maybe every other year we could get ourselves a brand new trick-or-treat with four new films or even at the very least three short stories contained inside the mascot by the way for trick-or-treat here is sam which you probably have seen on countless times on this channel. Sam's one of my favorite characters from Halloween, of course, not including Michael Myers. Um, he is a great mascot, like such an iconic look for him, for the fact that he's a character that really only appears once. He's only in this film, just one time. Well, not one time in the film, but he only appears in one film, and yet he's, last, he's left a lasting impression with fans of horror films. Uh, this film really desperately needs a sequel. And whether we get a sequel or not, we can certainly enjoy the fact that companies such as Scream Factory give them, I think, a film like this the true service it deserves. And not only are you getting the treats of this film being now re-released on Blu-ray, it is also released in a 2K scan of the original film, uh, supervised and approved by the director himself, Michael Doherty. But if you flip it around... The back here has a whole plethora, like I said, of really cool added scenes or added features. A quick read-up, by the way, on the movie itself uh, is a creepy, dark, darkly comic celebration of the scariest night of the year from writer-director Michael Doherty, who also did Krampus, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Trick or Treat takes the creep show, Tales from the Crypt approach, to, ne to nefarious new depths with four interwoven tales set on Halloween night. A high school principal, played by Dylan Baker, moonlights as a vicious serial killer. A quest for a young virgin, Anna Paquin, for a special someone, takes a gruesome turn. A group of teens carries out a cruel prank with disastrous consequences. And a cantankerous old man, played by Brian Cox, battles a mischievous trick-or-treating demon. And that probably gives you a little bit more in-depth as to one of all the short films. Although in some cases, I would say it does give away a little bit more than what I would have said myself. As for the special features, you've got the new tales of folklore and fright, including interviews with writer-director Michael Doherty, conceptual artist Breen Burns, and storyboard artist Simon Wilkins. You also have the new sounds and of shock and superstition, including interviews with Michael Doherty and composer Douglas Pipes, audio commentary with Michael Doherty, Additional scenes, trick-or-treat season's greetings that carry over from those other films, the other releases that we saw uh, earlier in this review. 
Uh, also, how did many of the scary seasons season traditions start, which was also available on the Blu-ray release, school bus effects comparisons, extensive still galleries, and of course, a theatrical trailer. The runtime for this, uh, you would be looking at 82 minutes, and it was released way back in 2007, which is really jarring to think about it, that this film came out back in 2007, which would date this at being uh, 11 years old. 11 years old, this film came out. Um, watching it again, I feel like it's not a film that feels 11 years old. I feel like this is a film that came out like last year. Comparing it, say, to the transfer rate of the original Blu-ray release, I do think that the 2K scan of the original film causes this film to look a little clearer. Not that this is an old film that you can see a real drastic change. It's not certainly like an 80s film where you see now a 2K enhanced picture quality that looks drastically different from the original. But I will say, though, that the picture quality does look a little bit better, a little clearer than the Blu-ray copy. Of course, the benefits as well is that you're getting all the added features and bonuses that only Scream Factory could give you. Like I said, this is the one treat you may want to give yourself this year. If you haven't already seen this film, do yourself a service. Please do yourself a service and watch Trick or Treat, especially if you like anthology films. Dead Time Stories. I should have never said Dead Time Stories. That's a bad example. Either way, today's spookerific review, we were having a look at the new Scream Factory release of Trick or Treat. Not for the first time on Blu-ray, but definitely one of the best releases on Blu-ray. This was the collector's edition from Scream Factory. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, ghouls and guys. More spookerific reviews will be coming soon to this to this channel during the month of Spotober. Of course, we got a whole lot more coming your way. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button, make sure you do so. And like I said, more spookerific videos are going to be coming your way. As thanks, and thanks for watching as you always do, guys. I'll see you next time.